What's up, F4A Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope you guys are doing well out there. It is cold out here. I don't know what's going on with Mother Nature, but it is cold. I feel like we are taking a step back into time, and it is wintertime all over again. Anywho, today, this morning, I'm going to fix myself a breakfast. I very rarely do breakfast videos, and I thought, you know what? I'm in the mood for some grits corned beef hash and sausages. So I'm going to get going now and get started with the grits. Now usually, thought I had my grits up front. Usually I don't do any type of special measurement with grits. I just go ahead and pour some grits in here. This is the quick five minute grits. Just pour some grits in here. And then I just kind of take a look at the, yeah, that might not be enough. And then what I do is <clears throat> just go ahead and pour some water in there. Because it's best to put little and add. <clears throat> like that. Okay, that don't look like a lot. So we're going to do some more. I'm a growing boy. Add a little more water. Turn this down. Because you cook grits slow. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any butter. But I have cooked grits many times without butter. Now, I was trying to figure out which one should I cook first. Should I cook the, the grits first? Should I cook the sausages first? The sausages are already cooked. Just got to basically heat them up. And I can put the sausages and the corned beef hash in here probably at the same time. This used to be one of my favorite breakfasts to fix when I was in the apartment. And this is actually the first time that I'm fixing this since I've been in the car. So I'm pretty excited. Now I'm gonna get some salt in there. And guess what? The pepper one like this, I dropped it or it fell off of one of the containers that I had it on and it broke. I was a little distraught for a quick second. Don't you hate that when one side is longer than the other one? It's so annoying. You know, like grits and oatmeal, you got to continue to stir that stuff or it'll get lumpy on you in a minute. I forgot to open my windows. There we go. See, this is not taking long at all to get done. Hopefully it's really done. Cause nobody don't want no undone grits in their bowl. Not me. This is much better to use some water, a water bottle. Easier to pull.
Yeah, grits require constant staring. Man, oh man, if I had some butter, that would be great. Oh yeah, this is so much easier and have to deal with the oh yes look at that bad boy now I like my grits a little on the thicker side as opposed of the creamy side I think this might be ready just that quick It rained all yesterday. Yesterday was a terrible day. I was not in the mood to make a video. I was just like, oh my goodness. I did work yesterday. All right, I think that's gonna be done. Yes, indeedy, look at that. That was nice and easy peasy. Now let's get this grits into my lovely white bowl. Love these bowls because I can just take a paper towel and wipe it right on out and be done with it. So this is not hot. The handle's not hot. Don't worry. Because <laughs> I know somebody going to be like, oh my God, after you touch that hot handle. All right, so now I gotta give that a quick clean in there. Now grits is tricky. Grits is tricky because grits, it, it, it gets hard right quick. So I might have to do a little more with this. Cause we gotta hurry it up here so we can get our uh, sausages in. Now I love these little silicone utensils cause they just, they just wipe off. Look at that. Just wipe right on off. No water, no nothing. Love it, love it, love it. Now, a lot of questions were asked. A lot of people asked questions. How do I do some cleaning? This pot here is a excellent, excellent nonstick pot. I mean, I can just about wipe anything out of it with a paper towel. Now, this grits, I might have to do a little extra work, but let's get to it. But, and this don't have to be super clean for now because I'm just gonna throw the sausages and the Just take that grits out of there like that. almost clean give a little second this is vinegar and water and this time should do it gotta get it out that little crevice part there yeah grits is a little stubborn at times ordinarily it would take me just like one go around but I want to make sure and I am doing this in a hurry because I don't want my grits to get cold because it is a cold day 
but you get the idea. See that? Now I need to move this out the way. All right, I'm gonna get my corned beef hash in here. And we gonna be on our way. Can of corned beef hash. Man, I love this stuff. Woo. Love, love, love this stuff. Turn that down some. Now I gotta run in the back and get my sausages out the fridge. I like these little brown and serves. I'll just sit these on the dash for now. So I'll run and take them back to the fridge. Now, usually I like to put a little bit of oil in here, but let me see if I need it. Don't think I did. Uh, I think we can do without the oil. Yeah, I'll just sit that down there. Put that corned beef hash over top of the grits with the sausages. Oh, you know what? I got to get my orange juice. Alrighty, got my OJ. Turn my little sausages over. Oh, looking good, looking good, looking good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. I got to clean my fridge out because apparently 
when I had the ground beef in there, well, I have the ground beef still in there. I cooked the chicken yesterday, made some nice, delicious chicken and broccoli with the cream of uh, chicken and herbs. I did that before for you guys. And that's what I'm eating currently at work. But um, the ground beef is still in there. I seasoned that and put it in a baggie. And apparently the juices have leaked out in the fridge. So I now know that I need to double do that, double bag it or something, because I like having my meats uh, prepared. So when I'm ready to cook, I don't have to All right, I need these little sausages to come on. Come on with it. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hash out. Put my hash. Ooh, this bowl is hot. Hot cross buns. Put that over there like that. Nah. Okay, I will admit, this is a lot. Ooh, my goodness. Now we can move these sausages around some. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I know I'm gonna need a little dash of salt. Ooh. I don't even know if y'all can see that or not. All that steam coming from it. Let's see if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer me. Okay, you might not be able to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe not. These sausages are already done anyway. So they ain't gonna need a lot. I'm about to get them out of there. But let me see if I need some salt. Yeah, they fine. Mm -mm -mm. Get my sausages out of here. All right, guys, I'm back and I have been digging in. Took me a photo. Mm. Mm. I need a little salt. This is delicious, boy. Woo! This is really good. Oh my goodness. If you never had corned beef hash before, it's really good. I don't, I don't know what it tastes like to give you guys a comparison, but I love corned beef hash. Mm. Mm. This is good. Wowzer. Wowzer, wowzer. It's not like a big wowzer, like bam, but it's a wowzer. This is so good. I, mm, I love corned beef hash. All right, guys. I'm just going to finish eating this breakfast, get everything cleaned up. 
get my day going. And as always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. Mm -hmm.